and 7 News. And Myron May worked in the DA's office in Las Cruces and took legal classes in Albuquerque within the last few months. As Action 7 News reporter Laura Train shows us, that's when some people noticed something very odd. There was something off about Myron May, according to staff at the New Mexico State Bar. Seemed a little scared, maybe. Maybe a little paranoid. But never did Executive Director Joe Conti or anyone else at the bar think May would shoot up a library the way police say he did early this morning at Florida State University. Shock. 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 Two months ago, May was here in Albuquerque, taking classes at the state bar as part of a continuing education program. Conti said his staff noticed something was clearly wrong. May had poor attendance, would abruptly leave the program, then suddenly come back only to leave again. Conti says there was so much concern, May was referred to a counselor. He did cause some attention. We did do follow up with him, and he assured our counselors that he was okay, uh, and then he left the state. That was the last time the bar heard from May when he told them he was moving to Florida. That is, until today, when his name made national headlines in the most tragic of ways. Conti said he wishes there was something the bar could have done to help May if only he had come to the group's attention sooner. He added that no one ever noticed May acting aggressively and there were no reports he tried to hurt anyone during his time here in Albuquerque. Back to you. A college textbook